Lunchtime at our place. <laughs> uh, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> Hi there. <laughs> Bob, do you know what's exactly in that burger and soft drink? Well, the ad said that this burger's bursting with fresh and funky flavours, and the drink is like there's a party in your mouth and everyone's invited. But what about the fat and the sugar, Bobby? I didn't say anything about that. Mm. Check this out. Wait, how much sugar is there in a can of fizzy drink? Well, uh, it is quite sweet. So, say, one teaspoon? Two? Keep going. Oh, look at that, Corporal Ryan. She's not stopping. Five, six, seven teaspoons of sugar oh, and one can. Well, that's a heap. More than you think, huh? And how much fat is in that burger? I'd say a bit. Think again. Whoa! That's a heap too! And where do you think that fat goes, Bob, after you've eaten it? Where does it go? Oh, excuse me. Look, on the Bob Ryan, there's a thing called a toilet. I know, Bob, and I know. I know. And that's where the waste from your body goes after you've eaten it. All right? But your body needs a little bit of fat to help it work. But too much fat for your body and it starts getting stored in layers. Oh, I knew that, Conor O'Brien. <laughs> that bad. Too much fat around your body, Bobby, is a big no-no. What? Why? Well, it makes everything harder, mate. Let me demonstrate it this way. You know what one kg of butter looks like? Oh, oh that'd make a lot of sandwiches. Sure would, mate. Ooh. Tell you what, imagine if I'd been eating too many burgers, milkshake, fries and ice cream, and I'd started carrying a bit more weight, maybe six kgs of weight. <laughs> you got them all, Brian? Never. Well, if I had, this is what it would look like, Bobby. What? Whoa, yikes! Yeah, and I do mean carrying. Six kgs is really hard work. Oh, how heavy are six kilograms? Well, let's explain it this way, Bob. This two litre bottle of milk here is about two kgs. So I'd be carrying three bottles of milk with me for everything that I did every single day. Gee, you'd get pretty sick of that, Corporal Ryan, and tired. Yes, that would severely cramp your style. Just imagine playing tennis with three milk containers weighing you down. You'd get creamed. Creamed. Get it, Corporal Ryan, creamed. There's another reason that too much fat's no good for your body, Bob. Your heart. What? Hold it right there, Corthamal Brian. You're not going to say the P word, are you? What, Bob? Blood. <laughs> oh, I'm out of here. Honestly, Bob, your heart pumps blood around your body. <laughs> In fact, if you eat a lot of fat, it makes it harder for your heart to work. You could even damage your heart permanently. OK, that's enough about fat. Let's talk about sugar. Sweet sugar. Ah, sugar. Sugar is full of energy, Bob. Oh, so am I. Energy's great. In fact, there's so much energy in sugar that your body can't use it all at once. So guess what it does with it? Does it make a cake with it? Mm-mm. It turns it into fat, Bob. Oh, well, fat again. Yep. Fat, fat, fat. Oh, gotta say, there's a lot of talk about fat these days. And that other word, obesity. Obesity, Bobby. Oh, yeah, that's it. Well, there it is there right now. Yeah. Being obese means that you're so overweight, Bob, it's unhealthy. Oh, for things like your heart, eh? And other body parts. And sadly, there's more and more people becoming obese, Bob, and some of those people are kids. Oh, was it always like that? No, it wasn't, Bob. Look. You see, Bobby, when I was a young lad, kids knew how to keep healthy. We'd walk 12 kilometres to school every day and 12 kilometres back home again, and after school, we'd have a fresh apple from a friendly shopkeeper. Well, that's funny, Godmore Brian, because I thought... You used to spend all your pocket money on ice cream. Well, just as a treat, Bob, and it wasn't every day, but these days there's a lot more unhealthy food around, and it's really easy to get a really big serving of a food that's not very good for you at all. Like the super thigh fries? Yeah. And they really are big. And you're always seeing lots of ads on TV making you want to eat foods that aren't very good for you. Lardo fried chocolate, now with extra sugar. Lardo fried chocolate in the super large size. It's chocotastic. Go on, kids. You know you want to. There was one just then. Oh, gee, Conor Brian, 
all this talk of fat and obesity is a great big bummer. Oh, I feel part on the phrase. Well, don't worry, Bob. There's plenty of other ways to fight off fat. The first one is to keep moving. When you're exercising, your body needs lots of energy, so it uses the fat up and stored away. Watch play, uh, half an hour a day. That's the story, and the second is trying to eat healthily. Call them all Brian. Oh, you're looking a lot more youthful and athletic. Oh, and that's a very convincing wig. No, I'm Damien Christoph. What? From that TV program downsize me? You're not going to downsize me, are you? No, Bobby, but I thought I'd give you some really helpful ideas and hints on how you can put food together, you know, that's healthy for you. Things that you can put together when you get home from school. Like dog baskets? Well, you know, kind of. Dog biscuits are good for you, but biscuits aren't necessarily good for us. Often they contain lots of fat and sugar. But if you are going to have biscuits, try some of these. Rice crackers, they're much better for you than normal old biscuits. And they're even better with some mashed up avocado and some lemon juice. Oh, lemon juice! Mm. <laughs> and you can't get much better than fruit. Chopped up apple and some natural yoghurt. Yoghurt? Oh yeah, Constable Brian does that every morning before work. <laughs> not natural yoghurt, yoghurt. It's not the dairy food stuff that's got flavours and colours and sugars all through it. Look, mix some of this up, it tastes fantastic. And if you like cut up apple, see if you can get mum and dad to put these in your lunch. The apple's already cut but it stays fresh in your bag. Hey, where would all those rice crackers and avocado go? I, I have no idea. Uh, oh. <laughs> right. How about a dip? Sorry, I haven't got my togs. No, a dip like this. This is hummus and this is yoghurt and cucumber. And you get carrots, chopped up carrots and peppers, and you dip it and you eat it. Can I try some? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I wasn't for my ham. Hey, who ate all the apple and yoghurt? Oh, I can't talk. Oh, my mouth full. <laughs> Got any other tasty ideas? Yeah, sure. How about some grapes? A little bunch of grapes is a great healthy snack. I love grapes! And there's scroggin. Who's he? No, scroggin like this. It's nuts and sultanas and sunflower seeds and pine nuts all mixed in together and a few little chocolate coated sultanas. <gasps> scroggin! Scroggin, like all these other healthy snacks, are quick and easy to put together and they taste great. Hey, weren't there more grapes than that? Oh, oh were there? Talking of tasty snacks, uh, how about this? Popcorn! Well, sometimes it's what's been added to the food that makes it unhealthy. This one's got sugar and food colouring in it. Popcorn like this is much better for you and it still tastes great. Hey, Damien, how are you doing? Hey, Councilor Brian, I'm good, how are you going? Good, good. Hey, guys, Hi, Councilor Brian! G'day, Bob. I've been doing some healthy cooking myself, look. Bean stew. <laughs> It may have been Stu Gothamal, Brian, but what are it now? <laughs> uh, um, thanks. Would you like a plateful, Damien? Oh, look, Councilor Brian, I've really got to go. I've got a training session with Leanne. Yeah, and, sure, uh, it's look, it looks good. great. It's, it's really good. It's good, yeah. No, Bobby, stick with those healthy Ooh. snacks, mate. Ooh. OK, hey, thanks, Damien. See you later. See ya, bye. See you, Damien. Can't <laughs> understand why I didn't want any, Bob. Hey, these look pretty good, buddy. Oh, I bet there's a lot of other ideas for cool healthy snacks, too. My favourite healthy snack is an apple because it's nice and juicy. Banana. Carrots. Cheese. Probably an apple. Yeah, I like apples. You know, Cosmo Brian, I think we might just have this obesity problem licked, as it were. How's that, Bobby? Well, lots of processed and takeaway foods have heaps of sugar and fat in them. Yep, and too much sugar and fat can make you overweight and give you health problems. You can fight obesity by keeping active and eating healthily. Oh no, it's gone all hard. Oh dear, health ad. I really wanted you to taste this, Bobby, but it's stuck to oh. the pot. Oh, Cobble O'Brien! I don't think that's a good idea! Yeah, Bob, she'll be right, don't worry about it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it goes very well with that shirt, Cobble O'Brien! <laughs> Time to go, me thinks. Hey, but remember, uh, keep active on push play. <laughs> and eat healthy, guys. See you next time, Kakite. <laughs> you want some book? <laughs> no, I don't know where it's been. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice one. Oh, dear. At least I won't have to shampoo tonight, Bobby, I guess. Oh, you don't need shampoo, got the whole run. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby. 
For more info about this program and some cool things to do, visit www.brianandbobby.co.nz. Just make sure it's Brian with a Y. Brian and Bobby brought to you by Blue Light Venture Thuntrillion Trust with the help of New Zealand on here.